Hey, welcome back everyone. Clash with Mike here coming in with a brand new Clash of Clans episode. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to completely max out Town Hall 8 in one month. No joke, but it only takes one month to completely max Town Hall 8. Now, if you guys take a look at my base, you can see that I have absolutely no trouble getting loot. And that's pretty much all you have to be able to do. You just need to be able to farm at Town Hall 8. And if you guys want to see how to do that, I put the link for that in the description. I can farm about 300,000 gold and 300,000 elixir in one raid, and that's like the minimum. Sometimes I get 400,000 of each, and that's a lot of loot. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the upgrade strategy for Town Hall 8. Now, here is the stuff you want to do first. First off, when you get to Town Hall 8, you want to make sure you upgrade your laboratory. Always laboratory, because there is over 90 days of upgrading time in that lab. So you're not going to be able to upgrade every single troop in the lab before you go to Town Hall 9, which is okay because there's only some troops that are important, and I'll show you those in a minute. Anyway, that's what you're going to use one builder for. And for the other two builders, you're going to want to upgrade your new defensive structures to the same level as the old ones. So if you completely maxed out Town Hall 7, you wanna, you're going to want to upgrade your new defenses to that same level. Now with the other two builders, you're going to want to upgrade your clan castle and your dark barracks to at least level 2, and then your gold and elixir storages. I personally didn't upgrade my gold and elixir storages for a while because I didn't really need them, but it's always helpful just to do that anyway. And next, I'm going to say for... I'll start with defenses, and for defenses you guys are probably going to want to upgrade, I'd say, your splash damage first, so probably your mortars, and your wizard towers. Now probably get these two structures right here, to get your wizard towers to level 5, and your mortars to level 6 for now, and then just leave them like that. And then, next after those defenses are to that level, then you want to start moving on to your cannons and your archer towers. Now for these, I'd say do cannons first, get them to level all level 9 because they are just not very expensive and they take only 4 days to upgrade. And then next your archer towers, get them to level 9 because they take not very long to upgrade and they're also not that very much. Alright, so that's all for that. And now let's talk about walls. For your walls, I have about 56 level 8 walls and 169 level 7. So I'm doing, I'd say, pretty good on walls. Okay, at least. But if you guys want to know how I did that, after I got all my structures to like the same level as the previous structures, I started keeping one builder free and then just farming a lot. So I would always have one builder open to upgrade walls whenever I want. And you guys, it really doesn't take that long to farm this much loot, because I am busy with school and stuff, and I have after school activities too, and I manage to have max loot pretty much all the time. I don't even raid that much. I raid about 150 raids each month, and that's really not that much. So that's pretty much what you do for walls. I wouldn't upgrade them all at once. I'd save maybe half of them for after you've upgraded all your other defenses. And also, something that's very important is your air defenses. You guys want to get these to level 6 very fast if you're in a war clan, because that would reduce the chance of you getting attacked with dragons at Town Hall 8. Now, another important defensive structure at Town Hall 8 is the Teslas. Now, for Teslas, you're probably going to want to get them all to level 4 like I did before you start working on all the other defenses, because they can take up to 10 days to upgrade, and that's if you upgrade them to level 6. They take about 10 days. So that's a very long time. Another thing you probably want to do is get your Barbarian King upgraded as soon as you get to Town Hall 8, because you're probably going to have that Dark Elixir ready as soon as you get there if you max out Town Hall 7. Alright. I think that is mostly it, except if you are in a warring clan, please, please note, you always want to upgrade your Dark Barracks to level 3 or level 4, level 4 is better, and then upgrade one of your normal barracks to level 10 so you can unlock the P.E.K.K.A. And always, you want to upgrade your Dark Spell Factory too. Level 2 helps because then you can use Earthquake spells. That's also very important, I left that out of the first one, but you should probably upgrade that along with your laboratory. And some, like after the laboratory, use that one builder to upgrade the Dark Spell Factory. Alright, 
that is pretty much it for all your new structures and all of that stuff now let's take a look at what you want to upgrade in your lab so my laboratory is right here what you want to do is I would start farming for Dark Elixir as soon as you get to Town Hall 8 and if you guys want to know how to farm Dark Elixir pretty much I would say the higher the league level the better chance you would have of farming Dark Elixir so I would probably go up higher in leagues maybe even up to Crystal League and then use wall breakers plus barbarians and heal spells and just that stuff to try to break through the walls and get the Dark Elixir storages if they're close to the outside as you can see, I've already upgraded my Valkyries, and now I'm upgrading my Golem. So it's not that hard to farm Dark Elixir at Town Hall 8. Now, as far as Elixir, you probably want to upgrade your Barbarians and Archers like I did first, because they're very good for farming with. And then your Wizards can help with a bunch of war attacks, and so can your Dragons and Pekkas, so I'd recommend upgrading them. Healers and Balloons and Wall Breakers and... Um, goblins don't really matter that much. Giants don't matter that much either, but you might want to get them up for Town Hall 9. Also get healers up for Town Hall 9. You're going to use them for Queen Walk. And as far as spells, you don't really have to worry about the spells until the end if you want. And dark spells, you probably want to upgrade the Earthquake spell I'd recommend so you can use that for breaking walls when using like Golems and Valkyries and stuff like that. That is pretty much it for Town Hall 8. I'd say upgrade your um, Dark Elixir Drills to level 3 because you're going to need a lot of Dark Elixir at Town Hall 8. But you guys, really the only factors you got to worry about at Town Hall 8 is the upgrade times. You really don't have to about you don't have to worry about having loot because if you watch the video I put down in the description below, you can see how I get so much loot and you'll be able to do it too. It is extremely easy, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. I upload Clash of Clans videos every day. Thanks for watching. Peace out.